In today's video, I want to show you the process of a winter landscape that I did. I painted it in a semi-abstract style uh, and I can't wait to get started, so let's jump right in. During the last few weeks, we've had some wintry weather here in northern Denmark and some really beautiful skies with dramatic clouds. So my idea is to try and capture some of this drama in today's painting. Like I do with the most of my paintings, I have a start off point with uh, the inspiration for my paintings, but I don't use the photos as a real photo reference. I try and capture the feeling of the place and the colors. To me, those are the most important features of the landscape. And uh, then it's not as important if there are um, the same amount of trees, for example. If there are a bunch of rocks, I can move the rocks around um, as I please to give a, a pleasant composition. So again, um, nothing is set in stone, just the colors and the general feel of the place, that's what I'm going for. In this painting, I want there to be some strong contrast in the foreground and some dramatic clouds. And I'm just kind of making some marks here loosely with a pencil, just to uh, kind of mark the surface very lightly and to make some kind of squiggly marks. Uh, most of them will be painted over, but I like to make them kind of to, to loosen up a bit, you could say. You definitely do not need to make these marks. I just find that they help me, um, they help to remind me to stay loose uh, in my paint application. If you have seen some of my other videos, you know that I like to mix things up a bit. I like to add some textures, some details, some marks with colored pencils and with crayons. I am using a very limited color palette today. Only two colors plus black and white. The colors are Burnt Sienna and Ultramarine Blue. And these are just really excellent colors for landscape painting, I find. So I use them a lot and just you, you can't really go wrong. I, I love them. Here I am thinking of the larger shapes in my painting in the composition. I want to create some interesting shapes in the sky and the clouds, as well as softening some of the transitions in the middle ground. I'm still using a fairly large brush, as you can tell, just so that I am um, I don't want to get into too many details at this stage. I still want to keep my options open uh, and I want to keep adding some contrast in form of lights and darks. As you can probably tell by now, I really like to make marks into the paint surface. Here I'm scratching with the opposite end of the brush. I could also, sometimes I use a painting knife or some twigs or different things you have at hand. Sometimes I use my fingernails as well. Um, 
I wouldn't recommend it as they can be difficult to get all the paint out of from under your nails. At this stage of the painting, I want to start adding a bit of volume to my clouds. So I'm working on the edges and I'm adding some different shades of blue, as you can tell, to kind of give the feeling of air, of clouds, of water, vapor, of moisture. And since this is a winter landscape, it makes sense to use um, predominantly cool mixtures of paint. I feel there could be a bit more happening in the middle ground. During all the paint applications, I kind of lost some of the definition in the middle ground. So here I am adding some shapes and some different colors to kind of give more interest to the middle ground area. Here I'm softening some of the transitions between the different areas, especially as you move away towards the horizon in landscape paintings, your transitions will become less sharp. They'll be more soft and this will also help to naturally create the feeling of distance in your landscapes. A sense of distance and depth, I should say. So far I've been working with mostly neutralized and subdued colors. So I want to use some pure uh, color now for contrast. And I think this turquoise pencil will be just what I need to add some pure color contrast. This will really make all the neutral colors uh, pop. Looking at the painting now, it almost feels as if the color palette got a bit too cool. So I'm adding some burnt sienna crayon to uh, adjust. You see how I keep going back and forth between cool and warm and contrast, uh, continually adjusting along the way. Okay, time to remove the masking tape and see what we got. I always really enjoy this step, removing the tape to get a really good look at what I got. I have a feeling that the painting could use a bit more warmth in the sky area to kind of tie everything together with the warm burnt sienna I added to the foreground as well. This will make the whole painting more harmonious, I feel. Also, I really want to break up this shape in the foreground with just a few light marks of a crayon. If you made it this far into the video, I want to uh, let you know that I really appreciate you being here. And if you would like to check out some more abstract landscapes, be sure to uh, check out the description. I'll also leave some links at the end of this video so you can just click on the screen and go to the next one.